こちら赤坂シスコスタジオ略してシススタ Hello everyone I'm Mariko Izumi I'm the caster of シススタ Talking of シススタ It's a YouTube program in which employees send out the efforts of season information systems We have group companies in three regions and do business all over the world ハルフトインクは一番の人たちのカンパニーのアメリカです。今日は、私たちのインタビューを見つけたのは、スタッフのハルフトインク。私たちのリンアンドベンキー。まず、would you introduce yourself, please?Hello, my name is Venki Madu already. I am the senior director of product development at Alpin. I have more than 30 years of experience in enterprise product development. Uh, my expertise is in、uh, data integration,、uh, search, and security. I'm the project manager of the product.、Uh, this is Arin Nagaike,、uh, Half King CTO.、Uh, I'm running a, a technical project for the entire Cisco group,、uh, together with the Technovation Center、uh, in the headquarters in Japan. So today, I'm very much excited to. You have a lot of very highly qualified engineers from all over the world coming in and settling down in the Bay Area,、uh, in the Silicon Valley. So, the best part of being here or developing in the US is you have the right set of skill set,、uh, the talent to build globally oriented products like what we are doing for、uh, Cisco and、uh, Alt. Uh, we involve the tech or non tech staff to our project、uh, from the multi region like、uh, US, India, China, and Japan, right? And as a result, it brings、uh, multiple angles of the thought in our discussions. So it would give us the, some more deeper insight for just understanding the customer requirement after all. So we are calling for any idea from anyone in our discussion.、So. I believe I will provide further values for customers. Do you have any episodes that made you feel cultural differences when you worked with Japanese engineers?、Uh, I did not really see any cultural differences as such working with the engineers.、Uh, however, having said that, one thing that I did observe, I've experienced. Is more of a language barrier because、uh, the Japanese engineers, all of them are not very fluent with English. So, what I've seen is、uh, sometimes during the meetings, they are not very comfortable speaking out, sharing their thoughts, or asking questions.、Uh, so, that becomes sometimes it becomes a problem because you, everyone is not collaborating or sharing. Uh, all the information. So that's one,、uh, one aspect of it. And the other thing that I've seen with the、uh, language barrier is sometimes uh, uh, during the meetings we use interpreters or translators. So the translators may、uh, sometimes they don't, because it's all technical discussion, so they don't translate the technical thoughts effectively. So what, what ends happening is They translate it in a different way, and the engineers don't understand completely what we're trying to say. So, someone else would come in and then they would say, Hey, that's not what、uh, we meant. We meant、uh, something else. So, like, for example, Rin has frequently stepped in to help with us、uh, communicating properly. So, basically, I agree with them, thank you. Japanese is obviously a high context language. It involves some many implications in discussion. Yeah, on the other hand, the English discussion is pretty much a low context and where one would just need to rely on literal or language itself. 
so it wouldn't have to send any alum in Japanese or yeah. implication marks. So that's why it took a relatively longer time for US staff to understand the full picture of the conditions after all. I mean, I'm not saying that which one is good and which one is bad, but anyway, there were the certainly different protocols. In global project, a manager has to understand such gap and try not to have the misconduct. のしずしさいかがだったでしょうかよろしければチャンネル登録と高評価よろしくお願いします。